10, no, 20 favorite cereal. I'm just kidding. We'll let ET Canada do that boring stuff. We're, we keep it legit here. I'm not going to do that. That said, what is the best showman's in the history of cereal? The best showman's in the history of cereal has to be Matt and Captain Crunch. Or oh. Captain Crunch and S'more cereal. That's, he made it about himself. <laughs> I was going to say um, Bam Bam and Pebbles in Fruity Pebbles because, you know, the well. Rubbles and the Flintstones getting together. More <laughs> bad cereal jokes. Um, but, and I'm, I apologize for that. I'm really bad at this. So, nice. Matt, if you, it, well, if they ask you to come in on the last day to do this part, That's you're really bad because I got the call this morning and they were like, can you come last minute? And I canceled my patience and they brought me in. So, okay. Okay. so okay. that's because Jeff, um, oh. not going to lie, he died. Jeff died. I'm going to hope that that's inaccurate. Yeah, no, he didn't die. He didn't die. He didn't die. I don't know what happened to him. I didn't know. Yeah, no. Well, I got, you know, like, life Life happens, you know. Sorry. Uh, if you'd like to send your condolences, go to hashtag Ramsey's for Klingon. Ramsey said the hottest guy in the house was you, Matt. I absolutely loved Ramsey's. Um, sending him home was the worst. I had a great relationship with Ramsey's, and uh, I'm really looking forward to, to being friends with him outside the house. And I really apologize to him for giving him a horrible haircut right before live show. Um, I really put like a crater inside of his head and I felt terrible. So Well, he, it didn't bother him at all because he apparently still loves you. So okay, well, I, I still love him. I feel really good about that relationship. I do as well. I Maybe next well. season we're going to see the first. You know, people well, do. Two the, yeah, there was two Yeah, there was two showmances this season. That's uh, Matt with Cereal and Matt with Ramsey's. There we go. And Matt with Raven. Three showmances, all right. Speaking of which, we talk about showmances. I wouldn't yes. be doing my job if I didn't bring it up. Yes. These guys, not me, these guys, CBS Interactive, I'm not allowed to say yes. that again, are predicting that one showmance is going to conceive a baby tonight, one is going to oh, deaf her wow. best and fizzle out. Wait, what was the second one? And de just fizzle out. Okay. Like maybe a couple weeks, couple months. And then one is going to be together for till the end of all time. The end of all time. How do you see all three and where do you fall in? Oh my God, that is a ridiculous question. I'm going to go... Um, Jess and Cody can see the baby, um, Elena and Mark fizzle out, and Raven and Matter. Wow, I like it. I like it. Um, and uh, I, th I really appreciate that answer because I think um, that it wasn't a relationship. She that probably I, said the opposite. So I'm I haven't interviewed her yet. We're going to find out. I'm going to ask her. I yeah, haven't asked her yet. Said the but I think, I think that um, America loves showmances. And I, I think know. that what I was discussing with uh, Julie Chen earlier tonight is Big Brother has a better relationship or a better uh, track record yes. of making babies and marriages than The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. Don't impressive. steal my question. Who are you guys? What is this? These media people are trying to steal my question. So what do you think about that? Why do people, why do people um, get matched up and just like, why do people just start hooking up and feel so close right away? Is it the, is it the time or is it the, the setting? Well, I mean, I was actually doing some math in the house, and I spent more time with Raven in the last three months than I spent with my best friend last year. Um, so I think that whenever you're in a confined area with only a few people, um, you're going to spend that much time with each other, and it, it's going to happen. So um, they do a fantastic job with the casting as well. So um, country girls, what can I say? <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Um, I had an amazing question, and I just forgot it. What All was right, it? Does anyone remember? Oh, I do have a question for you, Matt. This is a fan question. You can yes. read it yourself, but I'll read it to you. Why did you come on the show? Did you even ever have a strategy? Yeah. So, <laughs> and people will learn this about me as I, uh, as you know, I get outside the show. But this is actually who I am on the, you know, on the outside as well. I'm a chill guy. Um, I don't lie, and I don't really fight with people. I came into the show thinking I was going to be a little bit more effective in the competitions. I was absolutely terrible. Um, so they asked me to rate my gameplay. I gave myself a 65 out of 100 because. I did what I wanted to socially, and I just couldn't win when I needed to in terms of the competitions. So. I am not Mas Matt's publicist, but I will tell you, I really responded to that, um, how genuine you were when we had the jury discussion. And yeah. this wasn't on the finale tonight, but I said that. I posed yeah. that exact same question, and I said I'd be remiss, Matt, if I didn't say it didn't look like you were yeah. playing. Absolutely. And Matt owned it. He said, you know what, I, no different than me. I wasn't great at the competitions. Uh, and, and you said you just wanted to chill. Social game wasn't necessarily your thing in terms of manipulation. Yeah. So I, I, I think that America loves when people are honest and genuine. You and, and you owned it, and I think that's the only thing you can do. So the I give you kudos I could be for that. Successful in the game is if I was who I am, and that's what I did. I know a lot of people are going to say I didn't do anything, but uh, that's that's just who I was. That's... And, and if you're at peace with it, that's all you can do. Now, um, what would you do if you were asked back next year in preparation for Big Brother 20? You know, it's so funny because like I feel like I'm in pretty good shape, but these endurance comps, I was absolutely terrible. Um, so I would definitely, in terms of the wall. Um, in terms of the hot dog contest, I mean, I would do a little. You're gonna more. buy a big like hot dog and like and, and practice and, and sit in it. Yeah, no, but I mean, I would definitely do um, some more endurance training instead of just just lifting weights. I would definitely do that. Um, 
my brain pretty much turned to mush while I was in the Big Brother house, so nothing I could do to uh, you know to compensate for that um, in terms of the mental comps. But I would definitely do some more endurance training. It is it is very very humbling, and I mean this in a very serious way. Is when you don't have the interaction from outside society, you forget how to do basic things like read. Oh, uh, and I'm not even kidding. No, you're no, laughing, it's, it's but real. I'm serious. Like <laughs> it's scary when you get out, and this isn't advice. I'm just saying it's like when you when you get out, you're not as quick as you were, and it yeah. takes like a couple months to recover from that, and it's very humbling. So yeah. I know exactly what you mean. You kind of get in here and don't kid yourself at home you're sitting on that couch you're a Monday morning quarterback complaining about uh, you know those those quarterback ratings but when you're in this house it's completely different and it's a lot more challenging than you at home realize I legitimately forgot my home address zip code about three hours ago they have to look it up for me Matt it has been a pleasure Thanks this interview so has ended but I'd like to stay in touch Absolutely, buddy. and you should stay in touch with Ramsey's too yeah I, I plan on it I plan on it. Jeff's alive right I don't know I mean it doesn't matter to me I don't